friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard cataract with leathery fibers let us observe this surgery the main incision is placed and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision a bubble is injected tripan blue dye goes and stains the anterior capsule adrenaline is used to keep the people dilated the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is filled up with this visco and now capsulorexis is to be done i use a uterata forceps pierce the center go to 3 o'clock hold on site and do a rexis the people is mid dilated and getting an adequate sized rexis the size of this rexis is about 5.75 mm head resection is done very gently small amounts of fluid is injected the nucleus is stacked the nucleus is rotated visco again to fill up the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the phaco needle into the anterior chamber see the exposed part of the phaco needle it is little more because this cataract is hard the phaco needle in this case went bevel down and into the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator used the chopper to get a nice crack i rotate it 90 degree not on 80 degree in this case and into another chop just 90 degree away and i get a free nuclear fragment to get some space for walking for manipulation of the base nucleus i'm emulsifying this quadrant ultrasonic energy being used in this case is 85% in continuous mode vacuum is 460 mm of mercury and flow rate is 46 ml per minute one quadrant has been removed now we rotate and chop this hemineucleus and see what happens i get another free piece and i emulsify this free nuclear fragment the anterior chamber should be maintained all the time the foot control should be excellent to main, manage such cases the cornea should be protected posterior capsule should be protected here i could not separate this hemineucleus into two pieces so what i do is i emulsify this hard part and hold this and here it is chop still it is not free anyway i hold it and start emulsifying and i could emulsify this piece now see the posterior capsule there is no epineucleus no cortex to protect the posterior capsule 
in such cases it is always better to use the IOL scaffold technique for emulsification of the last nuclear piece. So, here I decide to come out. So I yes, I did not come out, I just um, uh, uh, tried to emulsify this. After emulsifying almost half of this, I decide to come out and use the I will scaffold technique. Inject visco. As I inject visco, the piece goes towards 6 o'clock. Visco should be injected both above and below the piece so that the nuclear piece does not touch the corneal endothelium. I have enlarged the main wound a bit and here goes an intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Once the lens is in the bag, we can safely emulsify this nucleus. The handpiece goes again and emulsify this last portion of the nucleus and the intraocular lens protects the posterior capsule. Done. Come out and now I have to check if there is any cortex anywhere. To check, I use a Y hook and checking if there is any cortex anywhere. No cortex in this side, no cortex here, but I see some cortex here at 9 o'clock. Go through the side port and check the sub incisional area. So, some cortex is there at 9 o'clock. Go remove the visco, remove the visco from the capsular bag going behind the intraocular lens. And now I go through the side port and remove the cortical matter. Yes, I check it has come out. So the lens is in the capsular bag, there is no cortex, visco has been almost removed. And now I use the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Irrigate out most of the visco. And this is moxifloxacin, a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. And now is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. This is a real time surgery, totally unedited, and you have not missed anything. The antechamber is nicely formed, integrity of all the wounds are checked, few drops of mox is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. 
be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love empathy compassion and great surgical skills